Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm starting a new empties video. Um, I actually just finished filming the flip through for this journal, which is my my second journal of the year and my ninth volume overall. Um, so yeah, basically if you didn't know, these empties videos are for me to show you all my stationary empties throughout the year. Um, I was inspired by Anna from Girl and Quill to do these videos. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. If you want to see the first one, the link will be down below. Um, we're just going to get right into it. So I just finished filming the flip through for my second journal of the year. Um, this is a moleskin journal there will be more details in the flip through which i'm pretty sure is going to go up after this video goes up um but you know subscribe and keep an eye out for that video if you're interested and yeah so i finished my second journal of the year and then in my little macron box i don't have too many things yet um just because i haven't been collecting for that long oh i should probably mention that today is march 17th so yeah okay so i do have a few things let me just get everything out okay so first, let's go over these things. I have a black gel pen. You guys know I go through these so quickly. I have a black Sharpie. And then I have three Crayola Super Tips in like this blue color, a black, and a gray. So I finished all of these. Like these were definitely really dried out. So that's why they're in this video. Um, and then I did write a letter. I did use up some Canadian stamps because the ones that I buy come on a roll. So that's why I don't have like the little sheet. So yeah, I finished some more Canadian stamps. Um, let's see, is there anything interesting in here? Okay, I actually finished quite a few sheets for my own shop, it seems. Um, this one is workout, I think. This one is school. And then this one is read. So these are all sticker sheets for my shop, Valley's Papery. If you want to check it out, the link is always down below. Um, and then I finished, I think the rest of this is all just stickers. Yeah, it's all stickers, so I'm not really going to go into detail, but I did finish a bunch of sticker flakes. So this first part of my empties video was really short, but I did want to put away that journal into my like storage. So that's why I filmed it. Oh, actually, maybe this one is kind of interesting. This is a little mental health matter sticker that I put on my Cricut. So if I remember, I'll insert a photo of my Cricut right here so you can see. Um, but this is a sticker from Happy Hippie Sticker Co. Okay, that is all for this part. I'll see you guys in the next part. Hi guys, so I'm back with another part of my second stationary empties videos and my macron box got kind of full so I thought I would just film another part. And you already saw the introduction so I'm not really going to explain what this video is about. Let me just get all this stuff out. Okay. So as you can see, we have a lot of stuff. Um, okay, first thing I have is just one of these Elmer glue sticks, the big ones that are like 40 grams and this was the kind of um the purple one so that's finished um i have some oh i have two sheets of us stamps this was probably just mostly because of etsy orders um i guess i did write a few letters i only sent out three letters in um march and today is april 3rd just as an update um so yeah i didn't send out that many letters and then what else do we have oh i did um I changed up my washi storage a little bit and so I had a bunch of these rolls that didn't have a lot left on the roll so I just unwrapped um, it around like a card and put that into my washi sample storage um, instead of in like where I normally keep my washi. This is so hard to explain. Basically I took um, the washi off the roll and put it on a card so it would be easier to store. So I count these as finished but technically I haven't finished all the washi yet. Um, what else do we have? We have two of my favorite black gel pens. Oh here's another of the washi rolls I finished um and another one let's see um we also have some what's it called uh canadian stamps mine are on a roll so that's why it's on a strip like this um oops better get that out of the way um i have a few sheets of stickers from my own shop um let's see this one's probably work clean and film so you can get these on my shop valley's papery um let's see oh we have some washi samples i believe this one was for my pen pal audrey and let me just sort through my sticker. Oh, here are some glitter headers that I used in my planner. Um, I'm not sure what shop these were from. And the rest looks like it's all um, sticker flake backings, which clearly I've used a lot of stickers in like recent spreads. And I think the reason is because I've been journaling so much. So I've been using a lot of stickers in my daily spreads um, and in my like book spreads. So yeah, I guess all of these extras here are the backings of sticker flakes and just like stickers. So I'm going to end this part here. I'll see you guys in the next part. Hi guys, I'm back with another empties part. So we're just going to start with the two completed journals right here and I'll do this in a bit. Um, the first thing I have is the third completed journal um, of 2021. I started this journal on what was it? 
March 17th and finished it exactly a month later on April 17th, which is funny. Um, so yeah, this is the third journal I finished this year. There will definitely be a flip through um, coming soon. And yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. Oh, I actually did also film a um, video on how I set up and started this journal. So I will link that. Wow, well, I really can't talk. I will link that down below um, if it's out already. So there's the first journal I completed or not the first, the first one of this haul clip. Um, and then the next thing I have is this workout tracker. This was just an old notebook that I had from when I was a kid and I had nothing to do with it. So I tracked my workouts from August 19th, 2020, see, um, all the way to April 18th, which is today. Um, honestly, I'm not going to be tracking my workouts anymore. I don't find it productive or anything like that, but I did want to finish this out. So there's that. And then let's just go into my box. There's not too much stuff in here. Let's see. Okay, so I can see that I finished a few letters. So, oops, I have three of these peel and stick strips from letter envelopes or yeah, letter envelopes. Um, and then we have two sheets of stickers from the Prairie Planner. I have one of my favorite black gel pens. And then, oh, I also um, finished a bunch of stickers from that swap that I did. And I think the rest is mostly sticker backings um, but I did also finish this washi tape sample for my pen pal Nora and oh this was also a piece of contact paper that I got from my pen pal Jalen and it was like um, a marble pattern which I thought was cool and the rest seems to all be sticker flakes so that is it for this empties part Hi guys, so today I'm back with another empties part. Today is May 6th, um, so we're just going to get right into it. The first thing I have is a bunch of sticker sheets. Um, basically, I made a bunch of printable stickers, um, and then I cut them out and I put them in my reusable sticker book. So these are the empties from it. Some of them I cut out to give to friends or just to put in my storage. So I have three sheets here. And then opening this up. Okay, the first thing I have is one of, oh my gosh one of these glue sticks um this is just the regular elmer's all-purpose glue stick the 40 gram one so this is the pretty big one um and yeah i opened a new one and this one is empty and done okay let me just take out the rest of the stuff okay that is it in my macaron box um the first thing i see here are two more of my oh my gosh can't hold them um two more of my favorite black gel pens these are just from the dollar store um use them when i'm writing letters and in my journal and then I have a couple of peel and stick strips for my letters. I think we have three here. It looks like three. Okay, so I wrote three letters, obviously. Um, and then we have two sheets of stickers from my shop, Valerie's Papery. Oh, another letter. Um, Valerie's Papery. This one looks like plan, and this one looks like me time. Um, my shop link is always down below if you want to check it out. Next, we have... I don't know what this is, something that I put in my box. Um, let's see, what else? Anything interesting? I think I have some washi samples in here. Yep, two washi samples. This one was from my pen pal Tiffany. This one was from my pen pal Adeline. And then, let's see, any stamps? Oh, here. Um, this is more of my Canadian stamps. So as you can see, it's a roll, so it counts down. So I've used, um, I don't know if I've used uh, 45 or 55 then. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I used up some Canadian stamps. There should also be a U.S. stamp in here, but I'm not sure where it went. Um, here is another sheet of stickers from my shop. This is the class script. Okay, let me see. Okay, I swear I had um, a sheet of U.S. stamps, but I guess not. Um, the rest here all looks like sticker flake backings. Um, as you know, I've been using a lot of stickers in my spreads. Um, I guess one thing interesting here is a little sampler from Cute Cut Craft. It's foiled, which is really cute. And yeah, that is it for this portion of the um, empties video. I will see you guys in the next one. Hi guys, so this is the last part for my second stationary empties video. Today is May 21st, um, so we're just going to get right into it. The first thing I have here is a sheet of planner stickers from the Prairie Planner. And then inside this box, let's take out all the stuff. Okay, we have, um, looks like one uh, what's it called? Uh, peel and stick strip from an envelope, which means I wrote a letter. Here we have, let's do these, two of my favorite black gel pens. I go through these so fast. Um, hopefully that wasn't too loud. I have a few sheets from my own shop. These are all just scripts. Um, my shop link is always linked down below if you want to check it out. Oh, another one here and another one. I guess I was using a lot of them. Here we are. Um, and then we also have another sheet of stickers from the Prairie Planner. 
we have another sheet of stickers from the Prairie Planner. Prairie Planner is one of my favorite planner sticker shops. We have some Prairie Planner glitter headers, um, some washi samples. I believe it's just these two. Yeah, so this one was a swap that I got from uh, Lena, and then this one I think was from my pen pal Justine. And then I also finished um, this little book of stickers from AliExpress. Uh, I featured these in one of my stationery hauls. And then looking at the rest of it, it looks like it's all sticker backings. We have a lot of these stickers, which are the stickers inside these books. Um, yeah, it looks like we have quite a few of them. Whoa, okay. I think that's all of them. And then we also have some like washi stickers on clear paper and other little sticker flakes. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!